Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing Assignment Ada, uh, the extra game that you get for beating the game in Resident Evil 4. Um, and basically what this is, is you're trying to collect uh, five Plaga samples. We're in sort of like the area at the beginning of Chapter 5 in Leon's story. Uh, yeah, it tells you right there, collect five Plaga samples and then uh, get out, pretty much. Alright, so, and we do have, uh, less items. This is, uh, Ada's inventory for this game mode. So, um, it doesn't look like much, but we don't need that much because it's not that long. I think it's like 30 minute, 30 minute long game mode. Uh, if you're just going through normally, it's obviously different if you're speed armor. I'm just gonna snipe this first guy, and then over here there's two more that I like to snipe. You don't have to snipe those second two, but I do just just because uh, sort of thins out the horde up here. If uh, normally I like to, if I can snipe an enemy, I like to. Um, but I also like to save the sniper in this game mode for uh, plagas because. Uh, the sniper is really the only way you have to kill Plagas, uh, unless you unless you spam like the TMP or something. Sniper is the uh, fast, easy way to kill Plagas. I wish they kept that going in Resident Evil 5. It takes like four shots to kill Plagas, but uh, yeah. Okay, just take out this first couple of enemies. And, uh, yeah, something about Ada that's interesting is she flips up cliffs. She flips up cliffs instead of climbing up them. Uh, not sure why. I guess she's showing off her gymnast skills. I don't know. But, uh, something interesting about this game mode uh, is you actually do get yellow herbs, so you can increase your maximum health. Just like uh, in Leon's story. Um, Alright, and then, yeah, before I jump across here, I like to snipe these guys over here. Because um, they're archers. You definitely want to snipe archers because uh, they can be kind of a pain later on if you don't. So, yeah, these guys should be coming right here. Yeah, don't rush into this area because you're probably just gonna get hit if you do. There's a lot of like blind spots, like weird turns and stuff in these areas, and I tried to back up in time, but I couldn't. Uh, one thing about Ada is uh, you saw I got taken down to about half of her health there and I was yellow. Um, it looks like you can take another hit, but you can't, so make sure to heal uh, after that first hit. That's one thing that's a little bit uh, challenging about Ada, but uh, you get a lot of heals in this mode as well, so it kind of balances out. This first part's just sort of hard, uh, just because you're getting started, you don't really have much to work with, but you have enough. It's sort of like uh, the beginning of Leon's story, like that village fight. This is kind of like the equivalent to that, but not as hard. So, um, what I like to do in this area is climb up this ladder, pick up the first aid spray, and then uh, once you walk so far, uh, a Gatling gun Magini, will... Magini, this is Resident Evil 5. A Gatling gun guy will spawn <laughs> out of those doors, along with a bunch of other enemies, and. Uh, and we're just gonna snipe him in the head uh, right after he gets recovers from the stun. Just do that, and uh, but also be keep an eye on the ladder to your right because the enemies will start coming up of up it. Yeah, see, I looked away for one second too long. And this guy's now down here. But what I like to do uh, in this area is. 
get all the enemies grouped up at the bottom of the ladder and then throw one big grenade. But as you can see, it, it takes them a while, so you just have to be patient. See, they're still coming over there. And I think the Gatlin guy just drops a hand grenade. That'll probably be gone by the time we're done with this, so don't worry about it too much. One died from the knife in the fall already. Just something you don't really see. And these guys for the metal, how much you have to wait a little bit longer because you can't knife their head. I think we should be about good now. Um, for the grenade. You sort of just have to judge it. I like to just wait a little bit longer just in case. It doesn't normally get this other guy that climbs up. But shoot him down. We should be gonna jump down now. Just run back here. You don't really have to knife enemies in uh in this game because uh ammo's not as sparse. I think that's the word. Wait, no, sparse is the opposite. Isn't sparse like, uh, like there's a lot of ammo? I don't know. But, uh, you, the point is you get more ammo, uh, in a Simonator, so you don't need to be, like, do the knife strategy as much, like, in professional. Uh, so, we killed all the enemies, so now I'm just going around collecting the rest of the items. But yeah, that's the easiest way to deal with this area, is sort of just go up that ladder, take out the Gatling Gun Magini. I keep calling it Magini. Uh, take out the Gatling Gun guy, and uh, with the sniper, and then sort of just knife, get all the enemies grouped up at the bottom of the ladder, and then throw a grenade, and it takes out, I think, all of them, but the one that climbs up the ladder, like, the, like finishing climbing up the ladder, and then two other guys... I think every every time it's it's always been those three enemies left. Uh, I'm gonna combine some herbs here, do some inventory organization. Uh, inventory organization, I say, what isn't as important in this game mode, but it's still important because the Plaga samples that you pick up don't go in your key treasures, which I think is really stupid, but they go in your actual inventory. So once you're done, you're gonna have this whole bottom row, like half this bottom row is gonna be filled up with block samples. Alright, so yeah, take out that archer with the sniper before he has a chance to shoot you. And then, uh... Just use the pistol whenever you can, because you get a lot of pistol ammo. And a Simonator. You get a lot of pistol ammo. Yeah, case in point right there. Three stacks just from enemy drops. Um, there's a red herb over here. It's kind of easy to miss, so just come over here, get that, and that's what, kind of where we were at the beginning of the game mode. Um, so, yeah, just try to use the handgun, uh, and then what's gonna happen when you start using the, nothing but the handgun is you're gonna start getting caught up on TMP ammo, and then it's gonna go back and forth, so you kind of have to balance it out. Uh, what you're using, really. I don't really like to snipe this guy, because I he's normally a Plaga, anyway, but this time he was not, so... Kind of wasted that shot, but, uh... These two enemies over here, I normally just shoot for three enemies, I guess. Shoot those guys. And then there's two guys in this, uh, area over here. One actually came around the other way. Yeah, he's coming around this way. Alright, there is an item drop over there. This isn't worth it what I'm doing, but I'm going to go over and get it. Just because... Just for the point of getting all of it, but uh... Once you do, there's gonna be dynamite guys that spawn up top. That's 
not what I wanted. Oh wait, they're, they're not gonna attack. Okay, so we, we can just save this area for later. Um, I right, go in here. Um, this should be whatever ammo that was there, and then yellow herb. Yeah, see, you can tell we're already getting a lot of heals. And the game was practically just started. And, and we already have three blocks of handgun ammo, so... That's not what I want to do. Let me equip that. Shoot that out, and then... I'm pretty sure there's just a hand grenade in this chest, yeah. I'm using the TMP at four blocks. Of ammo. Um, so now we can take out. Even though I would normally use the TMP just to shoot a barrel, but I'm gonna use the handgun just got just because I have so much of it. Is this guy gonna light the dynamite, or is this gonna? I actually had one time where the dynamite guys exploded when they didn't even light it, but um, normally they won't. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna use nothing but the handgun here. There's no reason why I shouldn't be using the handgun. Okay, there is an arch around this corner which we can't see because it's like a left peak. Yeah, you can't see around the left peak, so... Just wait for him to shoot twice, pop back out. Right. There's that area done. Not too bad, just a couple of dynamite guys. If, if you don't, if you don't take them out, uh, it can be a bit of a problem. But yeah, this area is not too bad. I'm not sure uh, if the difficulty is set to normal or professional for for uh, Simonetta. I think it's set to normal. And then professional for separate ways, but I'm not 100% sure. So uh, I think it's I think it's normal because I feel like the enemies would do more damage in professional. I think they do like five blocks of health in professional. So um, oh yeah, these guys will spawn behind you. So just uh, you shouldn't need to TMP for them. So Get overwhelmed. Use the TMP. Right. Already getting kind of full on our inventory here. Oh my goodness! I've never seen them do that before. I've never seen them do this. Why is he? You know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna handgun him. If he's this close. All right. So you can't actually go through that door. Uh, you have to go up this ladder in Ada's scenario. Um, and then through the air ducts. And you can't actually go back if you need to, but I don't know why you need to. 
but if you if, if you do, it's there. I'm gonna use the TMP just because I have uh, five over right now, so I'm gonna do that and then just reload and finish him off with the pistol. There's nothing really down here, you don't have to come down here, it's just, yeah, like, TMP ammo and an herb. But... Why not, if you have the extra ammo? Another herb. Yeah, lots of healing items in this, uh, so you, should, you shouldn't be running out of heals. Uh, the only thing you should really be worried about is taking two consecutive hits without healing. I think that's the only thing that could really kill you. And that first area is a bit hard if you don't know that grenade trick, but... Uh, everything else is, should be pretty simple. Alright, and then, uh... First thing we're gonna do is go into this room, uh, take this guy out quick before the other guys come in. Yeah, because they are behind you and they will start coming right away. There's a lot of stun rod guys in this room. There's like five, I think, that spawn after that first one, so there's actually technically six. Oh, whoa. Um, I'm gonna use a grenade here. Oh, that's bad. The plug exploded right into me. Um, I'm surprised I didn't get hit there, actually. I'm just gonna finish this off with the pistol, because I have a lot of extra ammo. First uh, Plaga sample is right here, and we're already out of space. Great. Um, I'm just gonna keep combining herbs for as long as I can. Yellow herb. Right, I think that's it for this area. I think, um, we can just go, we can just go into the freezer room. Actually, wait, let's take out this archer first. Just so he's not there when we come back out. Alright. Green herb. Um... A grenade there. Alright. What I'm gonna have to do is probably just combine these three and then discard them for the plaga sample. Because I don't think I'm gonna be able to pick it up. Although I probably should have just left it there. <laughs> Thinking back, I probably should have just left it there. And then once you pick this up and then leave the room, uh, there's going to be more enemies that spawn outside. I'm going to try to use a grenade so that I can come back in here and get that other one. Alright. I'm going to go down here. Get this ammo. Grenade time. It is definitely grenade time.
Angriff. Das ist schon Patient. I think that's it for this area. I'm gonna reload this, go back and get the other grenade. Alright. I think that should be. Yeah, that's, that's it for this area. Alright. So far, this is going pretty smooth. I'm gonna use a grenade in this next room, I think. Yeah. Just so I can... Clear my inventory a bit. Grenade take up a lot of space. And that actually worked out good, because now I can, I can throw a grenade through here. Uh, for the next area. Because the... There are archers down there, so just take out the archers first, and then uh, shoot this guy. Do the same thing as before, just as soon as he gets up or gets out of the stun, just shoot him in the head again. Should only take five shots, and then I think I actually missed an archer down here, so I'm gonna yeah take him out. So, I think we're just gonna right, that was kind of risky what I just did there when I heard the door open I should just uh, um, stayed back and not went for the item but it's fine it all worked out um, something doesn't feel right. There we go. Can't pick that up yet. Alright, I think we're gonna use TMP in this next area. Uh, so once you go so far that one guy will lock the door and then uh, you have to open it again. So I like to face myself towards the door as uh, much as possible before opening it again. And definitely skip this cutscene. What I like to do is trip all these guys. I missed one, but uh, I should still be able to get this grenade uh, here. the best way uh, to do that room is just trip all of them and then uh, throw a grenade. I, I missed one. Normally I'd get all five with one grenade. But... I missed one so uh, I did not get all five. Alright. I'm gonna try to do another grenade here. Yeah. That should be another grenade. Actually, no, I'm gonna save this grenade. I need. We need to save this grenade for later. Um, so, I'm just gonna use the TMP in this area. And this room can get kind of crowded, so don't be afraid to go outside and shoot them through the window of the door. That's another good strat. Alright. 
Hopefully after I reload this, yeah, I shouldn't free up another space. For the Paga sample. There we go. Alright. I'm actually surprised how well we're doing the inventory, because I was definitely expecting like we only had to we only had to discard that one green herb mixture. Alright, I think we should use the handgun in this next area. Yeah, the heals are really what's killing us right now, is just because I have so many heals. It's a good thing and a bad thing, but uh I don't like to go up and melee these guys for some reason just because on the stairs things are weird. Like the, the animations for the melees are kind of weird on the stairs, so I normally just shoot these guys to death. Right, I don't think I have room for the TMP ammo now. No. Or that green herb. I will once I use that grenade though, I should. Anyway. So once you uh, try to open this door, it'll say it's locked, and then uh, a bunch of enemies will spawn behind us, including Gatlin Gun Guy. They all come down and click this, that's good. So I should be able to throw that. Ooh, they're all dead. Alright, and then, uh... I'm gonna snipe him. Alright, and then... Snipe again. Oh, no, I did it too late. Oh, okay, that's fine. She's a healing item. That was another mistake. I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. I need to use some heals anyway. Actually, wait, what should I use here? Oh, definitely handgun. I have to use the Oh no, that's bad. I triggered those dynamite guys a bit early. I didn't want to do that. Yeah, these guys just run at you. They don't even they don't even throw it, they just run at you. So you have to make sure you just just do everything you can to stun them. TMP is probably the best there. Um but yeah, normally what would happen is I'd come up, I I'd kill those guys, I'd come up here, they'd open the door and I just and I'd just shoot them. Uh after they light it, and then that should be enough to take them out. I'm gonna see if I have enough space to go back and get those other items. I think I should. Yeah, I, sh I think it's just TMP ammo and a... and a... Uh, herb. And then after that we got this last room here, which is the last room with enemies in it, but there are a lot of them, so it can be kind of difficult. There's nothing in this glass case now, there's not. So 
couple in here to start. Still knifing them, but I have enough ammo to where I don't have to do that. But it's just it's just habit at this point. I've done so many professional uh, playthroughs that I just it's habit. Um. All right. So in this room, you get uh, a lot of ammo. So I think all I can pick up is that. Yeah, that's all we can pick up. Wow. Um. And then. Uh, there's some more uh, herbs over there, and then the, the fourth plaga sample is in there. So I'm probably gonna have to discard uh, this first aid spray to pick it up. Uh, and then more enemies spawn. You want to go back here, and uh, you can use the explosive barrel there. But I like to actually not. I am gonna use it. I am gonna use it here. That's good value. And then just uh, open the doors again. I should just discard that. Hopefully I don't regret that. guys are standing back here. Oh, there's another guy back here. Yeah, there he is. Oh, he has a metal helmet and I didn't mean to reload there. Alright. Oh man, so much handgun ammo. I'm just gonna discard that and then pick up this first aid spray. And then pick up whatever ammo I can, which is not little to none. Alright. And then these herbs, I don't think I can pick up. I mean, I can pick up the red one. Red herb, please. Gosh, why is this so hard? Alright, um. So that's really all the items you can pick up. I wish I could pick up everything, but I can't. Yeah, this this can't pick up. So, uh, yeah. Now all we have left to do is, um, the final boss, which is on this bridge here. Final boss is Krauser, and he's coming at us. Um, with this fight, you don't have to get him into a corner like you did with Leon, uh, because we only he only has uh, needs to three knives to die. So that's why I'm not too worried about him. Like, see, oh wait, four knives. Normally it's three, but uh, yeah. 
that's it, and then we don't need those barrels because we are officially done with this. Um. Oh wait, did I pick up the fifth Plaga sample? I did not. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I don't know why I just left this here. Alright. Discard that. Log sample. Alright, now we can now we're done. <laughs> so all we have to do now is go up here to the radio tower and call our chopper. And that's it. I hope this was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next, I will be doing the separate ways walkthrough. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.